the buy stop for the long entry um, to put in a protective stop we're going to put our stop loss in at 49.38 uh, stop loss recommended for the sell short uh, initial stop loss 50.12 so there's the entry points this week that we're looking for on the uh, on the on the queue here um, so right now we don't know where where it's going to break out uh, either up or down uh, I will say this though technically speaking the market is not overbought it has a, a long way to go and it could continue up to the $55 mark very easily with nothing really in the way to stop it so we'll have to, to, to look and see alright now looking at the actual technicals um, a big black candle occurred on Friday this is a bear this is bearish as prices close significantly lower than they open if the candle appears when prices are high it may be the first sign of a top if it occurs when prices are confronting an overhead resistance area the long black candle adds credibility to the resistance similarly if the candle appears as prices break below a support area the long black candle confirms the failure of the support area during the past 10 bars there have been three white up candles and seven black down candles for a net of four black down candles during the past 50 bars there have been 28 white up candles and 21 black down candles for a net of seven white up candles a dark cloud occurred which indicates that prices moved up strongly on the previous bar opened higher but then closed significantly lower this implies weakness as the momentum appears to be shifting from the bulls to the bears note that the lower of the close of the black candle relative to the white candle the more bearish the dark cloud pattern all right and that's what you're looking at here okay uh, currently the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX three periods ago the trend channel is down uh, this means that negative momentum is entering the market so we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days um, those of you who follow the report uh, you would have taken profit last week between Thursday and Friday when we gave you that short entry you would have picked up maybe a buck and a half two bucks on that uh, on that quick short uh, the swing VIX is not currently in a topping above 39 or bottoming below negative 39 range a buyer sell signal is generated when the swing VIX moves out of overbought or oversold area and the last signal was an overbought sell 11 periods ago the swing VIX just reached its lowest value in the last 14 periods this is bearish the swing VIX has set a new 14 period low while the security price is not this is a bearish divergence since the swing VIX cross is moving average, the NASDAQ 100's price has decreased 0.14% and its range from a high of 50.43 to a low of 48.98. Currently, the trend is up and remaining very bullish, being that we're trading above the long and intermediate term moving averages, but however, we're trading below the short term period average. A Continue close below 49.32 will be problematic, showing that we have a further pullback ahead of us. Um, looking at volatility, um, the NASDAQ 100 closed below the upper band by 38.9%, leaving us 32.03% narrower than normal. So we remain neutral as far as volatility is concerned. All right, moving right along. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, S&P 500 ticker symbol SPY. Uh, pretty much the same story with this one as it was for the uh, the QQQ, except for different prices because of different security. Um, looking at the chart patterns, a big black candle occurred. This is bearish as prices close significantly lower than they open if the candle appears when prices are high it may be the first sign of a top if it occurs when prices are confronting an overhead resistance area the long black candle adds credibility to the resistance similarly if the candle appears as prices break below a support area the long black candle confirms the failure of the support area 
During the past 10 bars, there have been four white up candles and five black down candles for a net of one black down candle. An engulfing bearish line occurred where a black candle's real body completely contains the previous white candle's real body. The engulfing bearish pattern is bearish during an uptrend, which appears to be the case with the spy. It then signifies that the momentum may be shifting from the bulls to the bears. If the engulfing bearish pattern occurs during a downtrend, it may be a last engulfing bottom, which indicates a bullish reversal. To test to see if this is the case, if the next candle closes above the bottom, the current black candle's real body. So we're going to look and see. And again, looking for this uh, this week, uh, price targets are as follows. We will go long at 122.12. If filled at 122.12, our initial profit target is 124.35. Protective stop initially placed at 119.30. On the bottom side, sell short at 118.25. Initial profit target 115.43. Initial stop loss 12090.